matter what else you can say about the puppet masters at the Democratic National Convention, you've got to say that they're smart. They learned a lot from the 2016 election loss. The problem zones have been identified and they have a distinct plan to flip the nation from Republican to Democrat again. But they're not the only ones that took notes during the last election cycle. Even though they didn't win or probably because of it, the Democrats were caught with their hand in the proverbial cookie jar, and the corruption that they typically get away with was put on display for the world to see. Because of that little bit of insight, we now know where to look and who to pay attention to. One of those not willing to let his state be taken over by any efforts fueled by the Democratic supporters is Texas Go of owner Greg Abbott. He got wind of a liberal ploy being carried out by one of the most prolific Democratic masterminds, and he's letting the world know about it. According to the Gove owner's official Twitter account, the infamous George Soros is throwing almost $1 million into the Bear County San Antonio district attorney race. George Soros is officially messing with Texas. He's given almost $1 million to just one candidate. Hell stop it nothing to make Texas liberal. We must muster the resolve resources to fight this takeover attempt. TCOTTX Leger at Texas got PJNET. The conservative Daily Post reports that this ISNT the first time that Soros has done his part in swaying the election process, and not just in the United States. Soros is literally known worldwide to influence elections and economies, playing God with the lives of those less well-off than himself, which is pretty much everybody. Few names in America hold the kind of sour taste that the moniker George Soros does. He is not much more popular in England after the stunt that he pulled with the banks there, either. While the left trip over themselves to condemn President Donald Trump for being well off, this billionaire has caused more grief to the precepts of the U.S. Constitution and other countries' national sovereignty, too, than virtually anyone alive. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has warned on his Twitter page that George Soros is officially messing with Texas. He's given almost $1 million to just one candidate. Hell stop it nothing to make Texas liberal. We must muster the resolve resources to fight this takeover attempt. He is quite correct too, as the San Antonio observed by the fact that Soros has given nearly $900,000 into the campaign of Joe Gonzalez, a Democrat running to unseat Bear County District Attorney Nicholas Nicolahood. Anyone who stands for the Constitution, securing borders, or even access to paper money has reason to fear the deep pockets of this most distasteful of men. The contributions are known to be coming from the Soros-backed Texas Justice Safety Political Action Committee for the most part via in-kind contributions mostly for mailers, media buys and related expenditures. Soros donated $60,000 just last January to Gonzalez, so if he does win, the rich liberal will have him right where he wants him once in office. In total, $958,000 has been given. The Soros-backed pack shelled out 22 donations, all but two of which came in February which only today ends. On top of that, the seemingly bought and paid for Gonzalez got another $15,000 in individual contributions and spent $34,000. The candidate reported about $1,000 cash on hand. Lahood, doing things far fairer, raised $290,000. Even before this? began, he released a video exposing how Soros and his money were attempting to steal the district attorney's office away from you, the citizens of Bear County. LaHood asked in the footage, what do we know about George Soros? We know that George Soros is a billionaire that has purchased at least 10 other district attorney's offices around the country, not to mention other political positions. Abbott also chimed in and said in an email, what's the secret to a winning campaign if you're a liberal running for district attorney? A truckload of cash from far-left billionaire George Soros seems to do the trick. Soros has been targeting district attorney races across the country and is shelling out millions to and defeat our conservative leaders. How anyone on the left can all but curse the Koch brothers while not uttering a peep about George Soros is a testimony to their double standards. However, now that the money has been given, many Americans are watching to see if the average Texas voter is smart enough not to be fooled by the swaying of an open socialist who detests everything that the state was built on. While financial donates are of course 100% legal for anyone who wants to make sure a certain candidate wins, it's worth noting that this particular donation is being made by a German Jew that once sold out his fellow Jewish people to the Nazis so that he and his godfather could steal their valuables. If the liberals want some Nazi sympathizers influencing elections, they once again need to look to the left, not the right, because they've got it in Soros. From the web powered by Zergnet, the truth about the Obama sisters, the disappointing double life of Tim Tebow, why people stopped watching the Big Bang Theory, awkward Olympics, wardrobe malfunctions, you can't done see woman who drove Florida shooter to school speaks out what really happened to Mike Holmes.